Welcome to day 20 of Vlogmas. I think we can all agree that yesterday was a pretty crap day, but I am determined to make today a whole lot more positive and a whole lot happier. So I've been up this morning getting some stuff done, but I figured it was time to turn on the camera and get the day started. Let's go. The dishes have got a little out of control. Let's fix that really quickly. And just like that, it's all done. Don't you wish it was that easy in real life? Because I sure do. I just made myself a cup of coffee this morning in my favorite little mug with a K in the chicken. I just feel like it is perfect for me. But it is about noon now. My dad is heading over here in just a couple of minutes and he is gonna help me with the final couple of steps on this chicken coop that I need a second pair of hands with. So he's gonna come over and help me with that and then I've gotta head to AGB and get a grocery pickup order because I've got to film a recipe for Girl Gone Grillin' today because I have neglected Girl Gone Grillin' for the last couple of days. So it's time to get back on track with that. Come on, Boo! Come on! Come on, Boo Boos! Look at that baby Boo! <laughs> My dad helped me finish putting together my chicken coop, so I am so excited about that. I will finish the last two or three steps when we get home and then move in my mini chickens. And now I have my own personal chauffeur in the driving seat and we're gonna go pick up some Jersey Mike's because he's never had it before. He's hungry and so I love Jersey Mike's and it's right by AGB where I have to pick up my curbside pickup. So that's what we're doing right now. Let's grab us some lunch and some groceries. Oh. Let me go grab our sandwiches. The goods have been acquired. The number nine Mike's Way on the rosemary parmesan bread is just the elite choice at Jersey Mike's. It's got roast beef, turkey, bacon, lettuce, mayo, red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt, and I think they do like their special seasonings. And it is just so, so good. Highly, highly recommend it. I am so excited right now. I have officially finished building the coop. That is one big thing I can mark off the to-do list. Oh, what a big weight off my shoulders. And look at all the boxes that I cleared off my carport. I don't know what we're gonna do. I have so much cardboard. Even after they took a whole trailer load of boxes to the dump, I now have a million more boxes. But I'm about to move my little mini chickens in here and I am so excited. The Smart Coop is called that name for a variety of reasons, but I really love that this is also a Texas made company. And I believe the coop is also made in Texas as well. But inside the coop, this is what it looks like. So we have an automatic door right there that'll open and close at sunrise and sunset. There is a compostable litter tray here in the bottom. It's got roosting bars, it's got nesting boxes, and look at these windows. These windows in this coop are almost bigger than the windows in my house. And then you can see a mount right there and a mount right there. And there's two cameras that come with this coop that I'm gonna install. So I can check on the birds from wherever I am and look at them inside the coop and inside the run. And then there's the nesting box that I'll be able to pick up all of my little mini eggs out of. Isn't that so fun? I'm about to put shavings in there, move the birds. All right, let's get the birds. Let's add the ladies into the smart coop. Y'all ready to check out your new coop? I got my little ladies moved into their new coop and I am so excited. I think right now they are mostly excited about the new grass to pick at. But I am so glad to have this checked off the to-do list. Just checked another thing off the to-do list that I've been procrastinating. So this automatic door hasn't wanted to open and shut like it's supposed to. So I finally came in here and did some troubleshooting and there's just shavings stuck in the track. So I cleaned it all out, added some new bedding in here and they are golden and going to be safely locked away when I am gone. Somehow today has turned into moving all of the chickens around into their new respective homes. 
which is actually something I have been needing to do. It's been on my to-do list for days. It's a beautiful day. Why not take advantage of it? And we have about an hour of sunshine left. So I'm getting as much done out here as I can. I got all nine of the Kikiriki chickens moved into their new home in the Smart Coop. And now we have the special birds that are in this tractor supply coop that is falling apart behind me. We're about to move them into this omelet coop so that they will be nice and safe and not eaten while I am out of town. <laughs> One thing after another getting checked off and it feels so good. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good. I had high hopes that I was going to move this out of the backyard, but this thing is so freaking heavy. I'm going to have to wait until I have help. So for now, it's just going to sit here. But this coop is now moved into that coop spot, and I can put these little birds in there for a safe place. The little birds are moved into their new coop and all is well. This one feels really good to tick off the to-do list because I've been having to move them at night into somewhere safe to sleep, but now I no longer have to do that. And that feels so good. In the last three minutes of working on this coop, all of a sudden I started getting throbbing in my head and that is not a good thing because that usually signifies a migraine coming on. So we're heading inside to take some Tylenol drink some water and hopefully nip that before it gets any worse. It's time to set something up that is absolutely amazing. Let's get to it. Let there be a giant blow up chicken. I mean, don't you just love him? Isn't he awesome? I love him. Look at all the dang cardboard that I have stacked up from some grill assemblies and the coop assemblies. Oh my golly, I'm gonna have to make a trip to the dump because this is so, so much. Holy guacamole. Now that I officially got everyone moved outside today, I am feeling like an accomplished woman and I can get this stupid cage out of my laundry room and off of my freezer. Let's do it. And just like that, it's gone. Ignore the laundry piled up in the back that we're doing, but the cage is gone and out of the house. I am so happy about that. I am feeling like an accomplished woman this afternoon. I have checked so many things off the to-do list today, except the recipe video I was supposed to film, but that is besides the point. I have gotten a lot done. I am feeling good about it. It is now about six o'clock. Cody is on his way home and I'm about to head over to my parents' house. My mom has made us dinner yet again and I'll wait till we get there and she can tell you all about what she cooked tonight. But we have family in town so she has just been cooking up a storm and I'm not really complaining because that means I don't have to cook. But I'm gonna round up the dogs and head out the door and we're gonna go get some food. Y'all wanna go see grandma? You wanna go see grandma? The lady that spoils y'all to no end. Yeah, let's go. All right, we just got over here and mom's gonna tell y'all about what she cooked for dinner. Okay, let's see what we're having tonight. So tonight in my old cast iron pot, it's um, shrimp, I mean, it's lima beans with shrimp and sausage, cornbread, and some leftover red snapper because my husband doesn't eat lima beans. So we put some red snapper out. I got cheese grits to go with the fish. Have leftover rice dressing and rice. So, awesome. and sweet tea, all here together for everybody to eat. Yum! That is she good is feeding us good. Holy moly. My golly, has my mom got to stop feeding us so well. Man, those cheese grits and those lima beans, oh, they were so good. But it is like 8.30ish, we just got home and I'm coming out to make sure all the birds got locked up, make sure the auto door I fixed earlier closed everyone up nice and safe. And it looks like it did. Heck yeah. 
I got lots of things to tick off the to-do list that I could do while it's dark outside. I need to clean up some things. I need to take care of animals. I need to reply to emails. So that's what we're up to now. You wanna come out? You wanna come out? Come on, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, big stretch. Come on, kitty. Come here. Yeah? Am I never gonna see you again? Probably not. All right, off she goes. We'll never see her again. It is currently 10.04 and I thought I would catch you up on a couple of the things that I've been doing for the last little while. So, I cleaned and refilled the cat water. I cleaned and refilled the inside pet water. I put down the rug after I had cleaned it. I did some laundry. I unplugged the rooster in the front yard. I put a heater in the coop with the mini birds so they don't get too cold. I did my daily Duolingo lesson. I did the nightly food for the inside cats and dogs. I removed a sticker from a cat outside. I fed the outside cats and I fed Rudy. Those are the things that I can remember off the top of my head and I'm sure there's some more things I'll do tonight, but I need to go jump in the shower, clean up and start thinking about bedtime. So I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. It has been a very productive day and I feel very, very good about that. And it was a much better day than yesterday. I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog today and I will see y'all again tomorrow. Bye guys.